What musician would you most like to bring back from the dead? Freddie Mercury. Nuff said. Jimi Hendrix without question. My thought as well. One of the most prolific guitarists ever and barely had time to do what he was capable of. Mozart. For many reasons. To hear him conduct his own work. To see what he thinks of what an icon he is. Both in the classical music world and in popular culture. To watch Amadeus with him. To see what he thinks of the current state of classical music. Both performances of old works and contemporary compositions. To see what he thinks of different styles and eras of music. Does he like jazz? What does he think of Kanye? I excluded my favorite composer, Bach, because he isn't as well known in popular culture. Beethoven is the only other composer who fits but since he's deaf he wouldn't be able to comment on current music. It would be great to take him to a performance of his own work so that he can personally tell orchestras to stop being so damned stuffy with his pieces. He loved improvisation. This is what made him and his performances so popular. I bet that jazz would blow his mind and he'd be all over it. I bet he'd love the shit out of coke too. David Bowie. I think he's still got something to say. He aged perfectly throughout the decades always staying true to his own style while making music that evolved with the time. Very few artists could do that as well as he did. Kurt Cobain, SRV, Stevie Ray Vaughan. I can't believe how far down this is. Prince, Jimi Hendrix, Winehouse. Yup, I sincerely believe that if she lived a full, long life, her overall body of work after releasing X number of albums would have been absolutely legendary. In my mind she would have been mentioned along with the all-time greats. I truly believe that we missed out on an iconic career with Amy. George Harrison, Mac Miller, was hoping I'd see his name. Didn't think it would be so far down on the list but he's my top choice. RIP, Dimebag Daryl, I need new Pantera albums. Tom Petty Bach As a performing musician, I'd like to see how he fingered some of the most difficult passages in his organ works. I'd like to see him finger an organ, too. Frank Sinatra Jim Morrison Jerry If you have to ask which one, take a spin around art grateful to, to see how people are still taking deep dives into past live recordings. My man during the quarantine I have been digging deep and discovered the pizza tapes. Absolute gold mine. Dwayne Allman. Chester Bennington. Absolute fucking legend. Janis Joplin. Otis Redding. Died in a plane crash at 26. He had a whole lot left to do and to give. Honestly, Amy Winehouse. John Denver. Why no Jim Croce eh, yet? Damn that man could write a song. Lover's Cross came on while I was leaving my wife and every shred of my life except what I could fit in my car, and it broke me down into tears. It said everything I felt at the moment. In case you need the follow-up, my life is back on track and I've met someone new who never makes me feel that way. Glad I didn't have to be the one to post this. I was just listening to Time in a Bottle the other day thinking about what kind of music that man would have come up with if he'd gotten a couple decades instead of just a few years. I have zero doubt in my mind his name would be much more of a household name and his music would have had a significant cultural impact. Also, exact same statement as above applies to Buddy Holly. IDK. Selfishly I'd like to bring back Kurt Cobain but he wouldn't want to be here so I couldn't really do that to High Monsieur. Lemmy. Born to lose. Jeff Buckley, Michael Jackson, Avicii, he was too young, George Harrison, Chester Bennington, John Lennon, John Bonham, Jimi Hendrix, John Lennon, Eric Carr, Freddie Mercury, and Randy Rhodes. Our church pianist because she was my mo monsieur, Elvis. I had to scroll too far to find this. Many, but probably John Lennon. Adam Yauch, I really wanted to see the Beastie Boys in concert. Tupac or Michael Jackson. Freddie Mercury. I would bring back Sid Barrett. Yes please. Biggie Smalls. 
If he and Pac were still alive they'd probably have released a Watch the Throne type collab by this point. Johnny Cash. Bring back Paganini and see what he is actually like. He'd probably love to hear how much legend still surrounds him. Yes. I think even for the famous personalities back then it would be amazing to know that you still are a legend and maybe unsurpassed. Frank Zappa. I have a sneaking suspicion he'd be pretty damn pissed off seeing the world as it is. He was a big politically minded fellow after all. Likewise. He'd probably be really upset at his son's struggle to play his dad's music being stifled by Zappa's estate who owns the rights to much of his music. Tom Petty. I saw him twice when he was alive and I miss High Monsieur. Chris Cornell and Chester Bennington most recently. Anyone in the 27 Club. Chris Cornell is my vote too. Seeing him live was a huge bucket list check for me. In my opinion one if not the most talented rock singer of our time. New Jabba's. I thought New Jabba's had a very promising career ahead of him. He seemed very ahead of his time with his lo-fi style rap music. Jimi Hendrix. Lane Staley. Bending the rules here Freddie Mercury. George Harrison. John Lennon. Michael Jackson. Chester Bennington and Chris Cornell. John Lennon, hands down. Freddie Mercury comes in a close second. Amy Winehouse. SRV. Jerry Garcia. Without any hesitation. He has had the most impact of my life. Stevie Ray Vaughan and Joni Hendrix are both also legends. By the Grateful Dead has helped me through a lot. So you would bring back Garcia from the dead to send him to the dead? Of course. Can we get a package deal? Then Johnny Cash and June Carter less than three can't bring back Cash without tearing him away from June again. And breaking his heart. Dimebag. Jerry Garcia even if he wasn't grateful anymore. Let me kill Mr. Pure no nonsense. Honest guy making no nonsense. Honest music. Not pretending to be more. The world lost an embodiment of rock and roll with High Monsieur. Chester Bennington. Yako Pastorius. BASS. Beethoven. Warren Zevon. Interesting pick. I love his last album Monsieur. John Bonham or Neil Peart. Two of the absolute greatest behind the kit. Would love to see either Zeppelin or Rush live but without these two legends it will never happen. Even with Peart it would never happen. He was done for good after R40. George Harrison. Love his guitar playing. Scott Weiland. Peter Steele from Typo Negative, because we could still use more Typo Negative in this world. Paganini, Vivaldi, Robert Johnson, Muddy Waters, Aretha, Ray, Chuck Berry, Mr. Jimmy, Bunzo, Robert Palmer, and Tony Thompson, Otis, Sam Cooke, and Marvin, Owen Michael Lee, and that Winehouse chick, Jim Morrison, Mozart, Amy Winehouse, gone way too soon. Freddie Mercury. I'd love to see what would happen to Queen if he'd suddenly come back to life. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Stevie Ray Vaughan if only he didn't get into that damn helicopter. David Bowie or Kurt Cobain it's a 50-50 tie. Flip Burton. See how Metallica would do with him back as a member. Also to see how he's reacted to the seven studio albums they've made since his death. John Lennon. Mostly because of his dying by being murdered by a nutcase. It had nothing to do with any bad habits. His lifestyle, etc. Just some insane asshole decided to shoot High Monsieur. Buddy Holly. Tchaikovsky. I'd kill to hear him remix his stuff with modern musical equipment. Chris Cornell. Bon Scott he left us too early. John Bonham is here what I wouldn't give for a Zeppelin reunion tour. Louis Armstrong. Gord Downey, Mac Miller or Cliff Burton. Both I feel were at their prime and, and had much more left in the tank. John Denver, Peter Steele, dude had just recovered from alcoholism. Had a new lease on life and was raring to get back in the studio to work on the next typo. Negative album and he was talking about desire to start a family. Aortic aneurysm took him from the world. It wasn't his time. Michael Jackson. Freddie Mercury, 
My Idol, Franz Liszt, Michael Jackson, Jeff Buckley or Amy Winehouse, John Lennon or Elvis Presley, F-R-E-D-D-I-E-M-E-R-C-U-R-Y, Lawrence motherfucking Welk, but only if he'll put on a mask and join Slipknot, otherwise deals off. Lemmy, enough said, Dio, not the one from Jojo but Ronnie James Dio the original inspiration for Dio. Elvis Presley, easy, Ronnie James Dio or Gary Moore. Scott Weiland minus the raging substance abuse. Make STP great again. Easy E, Chris Cornell, no one sings like you anymore. Chris Cornell, one of the best voices of rock we lost. Dimebag Daryl Abbott, Vinnie Paul Abbott or Cliff Burton. I've seen a lot of people I may have picked but no Ronnie James Dio. Johnny Cash, just what America needs. Kim jong Hyun. Chris Cornell, I would love to have the opportunity to thank him for being the catalyst for me seeking psychiatric help in saving me. I first heard sound gardens blow up the outside world after my first suicide attempt when I was 13. I was stunned at hearing a lot of my thoughts sung back to me. I had just started getting into rock music, so I was always listening to the local rock station, and they played a lot of Soundgarden. Several of their songs would have me tearing up at just how similar they were to a lot of the destructive shit going on in my head. For context, I grew up in an abusive home where things like mental illness were to be ignored. I was taught that no one else dealt with these emotions and it was further proof that I was somehow defective and thus, I meant nothing to the monsieur so hearing someone else talk about these emotions was mind-blowing to me. Because of Chris and his willingness to open up, I realized that a, I wasn't the only person feeling like this and b, I needed to talk to someone about getting out, so I finally did. This lead to me being taken out of the abusive home and put with a foster family that actually cared about me and helped me tremendously. I honestly believe that, had I not heard that song when I did, I would probably have died years ago. Because of Chris, I got to see my 34th birthday recently. His death hit me hard. Even more so when it was ruled as suicide. I found out about it on Reddit at around 4 in the morning. And my crying woke up my BF and my roommate. If he were to be brought back, I would just say this. Thank you, Chris. Your music changed me in ways that I could never imagine. And I, along with countless others, are still here because of your willingness to share these personal battles with the world. I just wish your music could have saved your life as well. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.